The following presentation is brought to you by Discovery Education, leading the world of digital and video learning. Discovery Education, connect to a world of learning. And join the number crew Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley And Ted and Mirabelle And there's Baby Bunting Who likes to help as well So come and be mathematical And join the number crew All aboard when you hear us call The number crew needs you Aboard the good ship Mathematical they're getting ready for Christmas! Yeah. The tree is being decorated. Up a bit. Bit more. Lovely! Christmas cards are being delivered. No. And under the Christmas tree, the presents are waiting. Not to be opened till Christmas. I said, not to be opened till Christmas. <laughs> And Ted is getting ready too. I'm sure they'll know it's me, and not the real Father Christmas. Of course they won't, Ted. And Santa should have at least eight reindeer. All I've got is Mr. Moose. He'll do fine. Well, he'll have to. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho! Christmas, I Love it! Mind you, there's always so much to do, isn't there? There's decorations, presents, cards, and I've got a Christmas cake in the oven. And on board the SS Mathematical, well, they're making quite a few Christmas cakes, because the passengers like eating different sorts of food. OK. Mr Crocodile, Mr Polar Bear, Ms Turtle and Ms Penguin all like fish. There you are. One fishy Christmas cake. But Ms. Ostrich, Ms. Monkey, Mrs. Zebra and Mr. Gorilla all like fruit. No problem. One fruity Christmas cake. Excellent. All the passengers will be able to have exactly what they like. Well, that's fine then, isn't it? Different cakes for different passengers who like eating different sorts of food. <laughs> OK, it's Christmas cake time. There you go. One fruity Christmas cake. Me, Hank. Yeah. What are they saying? These two want fishy cake. Well, they should have sat somewhere else then. This is a fruity cake table. Bradley, this is a party. The passengers can sit where they like. Oh, but if they do, how can we give them a cake they'll all like? Oh, no. The whole thing's going wrong. Well, this could be a party disaster. The fruity cake is fine for two of the passengers, but the other two would rather have the fishy cake. And the problem is they all want to sit together and share one whole cake between them. What can be done? Well, you could cut the fruity cake in half like this. Oh, smells delicious, doesn't it? Now, if we do the same with the fishy cake... Mm. Very nice, I'm sure. OK, so what have we got? Two fishy halves, the same size as the two fruity halves. So how can you make one whole cake that will keep the fish eaters and the fruit eaters happy? There you are. One fruity half. And one fishy half. Make one whole fruity Fishy cake! Brilliant! Two halves, push them together, makes a hole. Clever thinking by the number crew. Surely nothing else can go wrong. These four all want different types of cake. Fruity cake, fishy cake, grassy cake and meaty cake. Oh, no! Well, looks like I spoke too soon, doesn't it? What do you think? Now we've got four different types of cake. The grassy cake and the meaty cake to go with the fruity cake and the fishy cake. How are we going to make one whole cake that four different passengers can enjoy? 
Well, if we cut a quarter of the grassy cake, that's a half and half again. There you go. Mmm, lovely. All right, so that's one quarter. Now, if we do the same with the meaty cake, so we'll cut a half and half again. Just one bone's worth, I reckon. So there you go. So we'll put that quarter on there with the other one. Okay, now, the fruity cake has already been cut in half, hasn't it? So all we have to do is cut that half in half again. What does that give us? Two quarters. What one do you want? The uh, banana or the orange? Should have the orange quarter. There you go. So that's three quarters. And finally, a quarter of the fishy cake. Oh, definitely my favourite. So there you go. Quarter of the fishy cake. And what have we got? One, two, three, four quarters. And four quarters make... One whole fruity, fishy, grassy, meaty cake for you to share. Yeah. A whole cake can be cut in half And then you get two equal parts And what do you think two halves will make? Two halves will make a whole new cake Yes, it's true what we've been told Two halves together Make a whole If you cut a cake four ways, you'll find four quarters on your plate. And what do you think four quarters make? Four quarters make a whole new cake. Yes, it's true what we've been told. Four quarters always make a whole. Come on. I feel such a fool. Hey up, Rudolph. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> it's more than Christmas! It's Dad. It's embarrassing. It's time to give out the presents! It's Father Christmas! <laughs> oh, dear. The passengers know it's not the real Father Christmas. Because he's only got one reindeer. He should really have eight. Well, I'm sure we can manage something. There you are, Father Christmas. Oh. We've got some more reindeer for you. Hooray! He must be the real Father Christmas. <laughs> Unless this is the real Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll leave you to decide who was the real Father Christmas. There you go. What do you reckon? And I'll also leave you to keep putting fractions together. For instance, I've got some more party food here. Do you think you could make a whole from using a half and quarters together? See what you come up with. But for now, Merry Christmas! See ya! Do you want some? Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas! You didn't really think that was the real... Father Christmas, did you? Oh, no. I, I just didn't want to spoil it for the passengers. Hang on. If that's Dad pretending to be Father Christmas, who's that? <gasps> ho, 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 ho. Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley and Ted and Mirabelle. And there's Baby Bunting, who likes to help as well. So come and be mathematical, 